Hi Capricorn. This will be uh, just a mid-month reading for February because um, I just moved and I just haven't had time to to do card readings lately. But I really enjoy doing them, even though most of the time I don't get very many views actually on the card readings. But I do enjoy it, and I go by my intuition alone. So um, I don't know. Maybe that's why I'm not really really sure but anyway so I did the Rider Waite I went ahead and uh, picked the cards because that's all I have time to do right now but um, so the bottom of the deck I got the three of wands but I do see there's new growth here but I also see and feel like like you've come a long way baby is what came into my mind You've come a long way, baby. And you're a little tattered, a little worn for the weather, you know. But there are ships here. And I think you're waiting on your particular ship. You're waiting on a particular thing. Um, and I see that the sky is yellow. I always think of yellow as being happy and sunny and everything. But I do feel like you've come a long way. And you're there, like you're right on the precipice of something big, okay? So just hang in there. Um, there might be a little waiting game thing going on. Maybe, uh, well, for some of you, it could be a job, like a new job, and you're just waiting on orientation or, um, you know, waiting for other people to uh, come up to speed where you're at. Especially with a job, you know, when you're looking for a job, you you need money, pay your bills, so you're in a hurry. But that company is not, they're not in any hurry at all. Uh, it's not their bills, right? So they just take uh, their sweet time about everything. And it, it can take, you know, a few weeks. So that's why it's always better to have one job before you quit another one because it could be a couple of months before you actually secure a job and by then all your bills are behind you know past due and that's not fun but anyway I just see it as you've come a long way and you're right there so just just hang in there it's gonna be all right and then for the regular card I picked the chariot and I just see this as you being a skilled warrior. You know, you're skilled. You're prepared. But you're still waiting. Because see, they're laying down. They're not galloping forward or anything. But you are ready. You're prepared. And, and you're more than ready. Like you're just waiting. So you're waiting. You're waiting for your ship to come in. And look, the sky is yellow, so that's good. But I do notice that there's like the moon and the stars, so even in his crown. So it's like, I had the thought, maybe you're thinking about this at night. Maybe it's going to be a night job, like swing or grave or, you know, second or third ship. Um... I don't know. It could be a YouTube channel. I, of course, it's going to be different for everyone because you're all different, right? But something is happening. Something is a big is about to happen. All right. So just hang in there. Um, oh yeah, I put contemplating a move, idea, project. Uh, maybe thinking of this after your work day is over. So maybe you went to work and then you're coming home and you're thinking about this. You're dreaming about it. You're fantasizing about this new thing, opportunity or whatever. Um, so you could be thinking about this after the sun goes down or it could be something to do with the, after the sun goes down, like, um, you know, like second shift or something like that. Um, hmm. 
I just wrote job or relationship or something you will have to do in the evening, like a YouTube channel to make more money, something like that. But anyway, anyway, it's looking good. You're ready. You're prepared. You know, you've done a lot, a lot of hard work to get to where you are. I mean, look, you showed up tattered bottom of the deck. And then look at you now. Like you're, you know, like night and day difference, right? Like a hundred percent different, like a hundred percent turnaround. Um, like you're all in 100%, like you're ready. So, and I think that you do know what this is. You already know what this is. And I hope that you leave it in the comments because I'm really curious. And then I I found this old deck Harmony Angel cards. So I went ahead and pulled one too for you. And this one is called uh, the Starfire Suit. So there's different suits, but this is out of the Starfire Suit. And it's uh, Verschel. Verschel. It's the Zodiac Angel of Leo. For issues of courage, leadership, and loyalty. This card is for those who are courageous, loyal, and skilled in leadership. But Verschel points out that these qualities are often coupled with strong emotions and passions. You are proud, ambitious, and full of love for your fellows. You inspire others, particularly young people, which may lead you into situations where difficult decisions must be made. So maybe some of you could be teachers or you could be in a relationship where, um, like if it was a guy and a woman, he got in a relationship with a woman who already has kids, but you got really close to the kids, but now you and the significant other are breaking up. And that would be a hard situation to be in if you were really close to the kids, but now you and your love, you know, your girlfriend, whatever, had a little falling out and now she doesn't want you to see the kids, you know, something like that. Um, but it, you know, could also be like a teacher making, having to make hard decisions like on grades, on um, the review that you get every so often or the parent teacher conference and things like that. Um. If you have such a situation to address, take the time to invoke Verschel to be with you, to help you decide how, when, and with whom to take action. So call upon Verschel. I've never, you know, I'm, I don't think I've ever pulled this card and I don't know who this is. I'm just thinking it's an angel, Verschel. But it's worth a try because I ask the angels every single day for help. I don't care what it is. It could be I need a good parking place because I'm five minutes, you know, uh, late or something like that. Um, it could be something very small to something bigger. Like I need help moving. I need help. I need a van or I need a, a U-Haul or something like that. And things will work out, you know. They will help you, but you have to ask because we were given free will. Okay, the reverse side of these assets is a possible tendency to be too headstrong. That's me, so I can relate. Not thinking through the issues and weighing the consequences. You may rush to give your heart too easily, or perhaps you try too hard at things. Both these weaknesses come from a constant need for others to approve your actions caused by your own inner insecurity. For Shell can help you to learn to be comfortable with yourself and back your own judgment while also listening and valuing the opinions of others. Crystals 
to assist you are yellow topaz for self-confidence and joy in creativity and citrine to bring aware awareness of higher self. For shell suggest awareness of higher self. For shell suggest you temper strength with sympathy and courage with true conviction. So yeah. Ask for shell for help and just see what happens, you know? You don't have anything to lose and it's free. So just ask it and see if it helps your situation over the next few days or weeks or something. Uh, I may have to ask for help myself and just see if I feel a difference or if I I feel a connection to this for shell. I don't know. Right now I don't have one. But I, I love a good like science project and I love to test the boundaries of things and just see what works, what doesn't work so good for me. And I would just try it and see. But you see all this yellow and look at these cards. They're all yellow. They're all yellow. That's crazy. Right? But anyway, it's good. It's really good. I have a really good feeling about it. And you got like this like rainbow thing uh, around the head. Makes me think of your higher self. God, uh, angels asking for show, um, for help. And it's just like radiating out from you. So the energy ask for help inside, right? Ask for help. And then the confidence and everything is going to radiate out from you. And everyone will be able to feel it around you. Not, you know, not, not just you, but everyone around you, your family, your friends, your coworkers, everything. So I think this is amazing. Um, just wait a little bit longer. That's what I'm having to do too right now. I'm, I'm waiting on uh, orientation. And it, it's been a couple weeks trying to get this new job. And um, I thought it would be faster than this, but it, it hasn't been. And, you know, for whatever reason, I've stayed busy doing other things, so it's all right. But and I think in the end, it'll work out financially. But, yeah, it's kind of tough going, you know, a couple weeks without a paycheck. But anyway, guys, and put it in the comments what's going on. I'm so curious. And just see what you're trying to manifest here. But anyway, it's big. It's huge. It's not just a little thing, you know. It's not just a little decision. It's a, a bigger, more life-changing decision. So, like, um, job, relationship, moving, you know, things like that. Major, some, something major is going on, all right? Okay, leave in the comments what it is, and I hope to see you on the next one, all right, guys? Okay, have a good one. Bye-bye. Sorry. I don't have my normal little pointer thing that I turn this off with. Okay. <laughs> Bye.